Hey guys, um, so we are walking to MMC to have our <laughs> radiology shoot. How do you guys feel about radiology? It should have been on Zoom, <laughs> but it's really nice. Yeah, it end up it ends up being okay. Going in your rotations, have you guys got an idea of what you want to do? Well, this is the big the big money question. Yeah. I have massively enjoyed my surgical rotations over the other ones, but I probably have a commitment problem with surgery, <laughs> so I'm going to say undecided. <laughs> I think cardiology, three weeks on cardiology has kind of changed me, mm. so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Yemen? Um, I am interested in derm, but as you guys know, it's a very competitive field, so I'll just see where life leads me. <laughs> okay, see ya! <laughs> For those who don't know what hepatitis is, let's, let's it's inflammation of the liver. So you can have multiple causes. Like viral hepatitis is from um, the viruses, mm -hmm. and then you can have stuff like autoimmune or like alcoholic as well. Mm -hmm. How do you get hepatitis? What, what type? Oh, let's say Hep A. Like fecal oral roots, like foodborne contamination, mm -hmm. or hygiene in like water areas. What about Hep B? Like needle stick injuries or bloodborne. Mm -hmm. And Hep C? Pretty much the same as Hep B. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Except I think it's Hep B is just um, sexual contact. Oh, but as Hep C well. isn't. Hep yeah. C is yeah. Go ahead. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Heading into my first gen med rotation. Kind of excited, uh, but also ready to finish the semester. How did you find the catheterization? Well, it was, um, there are many steps because it's one of the more sterile procedures compared to many. So um, it's really important to you know, remember your hand hygiene, to keep your fluid sterile, um, and to know which equipment's to use when. Um, but overall, it's, I think, a very useful skill to know, especially considering how often you see them in the hospital. Any tips for your colleagues? Oh, um, I think obviously when you do it the first time, it's handy to have some of your colleagues around you to give you tips here and there. Um, but when you're trying to practice it and doing it solo, just rehearse it in your head before you actually go into it so that you can remember if you've forgotten any steps. <laughs> so it's been a while since my recaps this week has been full with a lot of prep for exams coming up next week and a lot of clinical skills and procedural skills classes um, so I haven't been able to go to wards as much however um, some interesting things that I have learnt have been regarding cancer um, we are in the process of learning um, GI, hepatobiliary and uh, breast pathology and we tend to learn a lot about malignancies that um, start off from these areas and where it spreads to. Um, I think some key symptoms to look out for cancer is fatigue, weight loss and night sweats being the constitutional symptoms. However, with each type of symptom, there are different presentations as well. For example, with breast cancer, there's always the um, immobile, firm uh, 
sometimes painful and tender lumps that appear in the breast and in the axilla region. For colorectal cancers, there are different presentations depending on the area it occurs in. So for right-sided uh, colorectal cancer, there is uh, iron deficiency anemia due to bleeding. Um, and on left-sided cancer, there is tenesmus, which is, is this constant tendency to feel like you need to pass stools because there's a mass stuck in the rectum, as well as rectal bleeding. Something to note is that cancers in the livers are usually secondary tumours, meaning that they are tumours that have spread from other primary origins. So cancers in the livers usually indicate a poorer prognosis and mean it's harder to treat. Um, but there are so many more things to learn, such as whether it's genetic, um, whether it's autoimmune, whether some of the symptoms are caused by uh, physical and mechanical properties, such as obstruction due to tumours, or whether it's because it um, produces excessive secretions of certain hormones, etc., etc. So as exam preparation comes, I may be a bit more inactive. I hope you understand. But I'm hoping to have a video more on um, how my experience as a clinical student has been so far coming up soon so stay tuned for that and i'll see you soon guys bye